Hello guys, this is Abhishek coming with a new series of video tutorials. Uh, today we're gonna start the new series of Android starting from Android development, basic structures, how we can uh, set the environment for developing Android application. Okay, so before that, uh, I would like to tell you little bit information about the Android versions uh, what kind of versions are released still now just little bit information actually uh, Android operating system is based on Linux kernel so it's a freeware Yeah. See on the programming guru.com here you can get all the history of Android operating system from the, its first cupcake, sorry, angle cake that is the 1.0, after that 1.1, 1.5 cupcake, 1.6 donut, 2.0, 2.1 eclair, 2.2 froyo, 2.3 gingerbread, 3.0 honey combo, 4.0 ice cream sandwich, 4.1 jelly bean. And after that, uh, 4.2. Still, it's on a 4.4 KitKat version. Okay, uh, this is not added over here. Uh, and one more thing, if you want to learn how to configure, this is the basic feature. These are the basic features in Android compared to other operating systems. OAN application framework, Dalvik virtual machine, integrated browser, optimized. Graphics, SQLite support, SQLite support for backend, 2.2 Froyo, handset layouts, data storage, connectivity, messaging, and web browsers. Uh, if you want to configure your uh, PC for the Android development, you can follow the steps from these websites. Okay. Uh, if you don't have, but now Google has updated uh, the SDK. So you don't need to follow all this stuff or all this configuring stuff. So just open the developer.android.com slash SDK. Okay, you'll get this page. From here you can download the SDK for the Android development. Okay, I have already downloaded it. I'll show you. See, the configuration is already done. You don't have to do any. You don't need to do any kind of stuff uh, related to the configurations. You just need to start the Eclipse from here. After starting the Eclipse, uh, first of all, uh, after the downloading the version EDT bundle, Eclipse EDT bundle, uh, you have to also install the JDK before that. Uh, if you don't have a JDK on your PC, you cannot start the Eclipse. So please uh, download it from just Google it JDK 7. Please select your bit version, OS versions. It's a uh, 32 bit or 64 bit. Just go to oracle.com, they will provide you the setup. Okay? Yeah. Uh, after downloading, you have to check that uh, the SDK is loaded properly or not. So, I just go to Windows Preferences and Android. See, I got the path of automatically my uh, SDK. So, I got my SDK. That's it. Uh, this part will automatically configure your all the stuffs don't know to do anything if your Eclipse uh, will uh, does not work properly then you have to check this part if the SDK is loaded uh, properly or not and the second thing uh, whenever you download you get the latest version of uh, Android Android API level okay but if you want to use the earlier versions then you have to download it manually okay See, uh, when 
I click on this button I got different different versions from oldest to newest see from 1.5 to 4.2.2 sorry L Android L okay uh, if you want to use uh, 4.3 then you can download it from select his and install this package it will take some time half an hour uh, after it will install okay and uh, I hope you guys have uh, familiar with the uh, other menus like how to open project how to close project after that how to start the emulator uh, how to check your log status what is the log cat everything is important while developing the Android applications okay uh, that's it for the uh, introductions of Android application uh, in the next video we will create our first application hello world in Android by using Eclipse thank you for watching please subscribe my channel bye bye